Uh, greetings, um, brothers and sisters. Um, praise God. Hope you're keeping well. Um, I just received a word there from the Lord um, Thursday, 5th of July 2018, which I'd like to share. It's really a message to the church and a message to um, the Christians in the, in the churches as well. So I think it's just kind of like a, a challenge, a God really challenging um, the church, really in the present state of the church, to be honest. So anyway, I'll just read this um, message. It says I received it from the Holy Spirit. Message um, from God to the churches, Thursday, 5th of July, 2018. Will you be able to stand before me confidently on that day? Will it, or will it be false confidence, says the Lord? Will it be fleshly confidence? Test yourself in this. Research my word. How do you respond to my, my Holy Spirit, church? Do you embrace me? Do you embrace my giftings, which I freely give? Do you embrace my prophets who deliver my word? Do you embrace my anointed ones? Or do you embrace your own reputation? Do you embrace your own ambitions and your own ideas and neglect my anointed, my anointing and my anointed ones? Do you enjoy your popularity or do you truly fear and tremble before me, conscious of the dreadful consequences of sin and the weight of your responsibilities towards me when I call you to account for those who are entrusted to your care. If your heart is fully mine, you will not fear the coming calamities of my judgments. But if you do not fear me as you ought, then you will fear and tremble when they come. Get your heart right before me before it's too late. Lay down your life for my sake. Stand in the gap for my people and stem the tide of wickedness that is rife in this land. Stand bold for me without apology. When have you last wept for a soul, O Christian? And you say you love me? How can you love me and not grieve for the lost around you? You talk about me like you love me, but you don't even weep for one lost soul. Have you fallen in love with religion, with your formalities, your money, your reputation? You should fear me. Where is your fear of me? Where is your carefulness to please me? Are you able to stand in my courts in confidence? Wake up, church, wake up. The day is well spent and the night draws near. If you do not repent, these calamities will take you away in great distress of spirit and then behold the great delusion. Do you really think this is time to sleep? Awake your brethren, shout it aloud to get right with God. Time is running out. Study to show yourself approved. Why must you stumble around in the darkness of sin? Why must you seek the accolade and approval of men? Men live by the breath in their lungs that comes from me. Soon you shall see me come in my fury. You do not want to experience my wrath. Seek me so you may receive a full reward. Soon the tide of wickedness will overtake you. And then what shall you do? Die with the wicked or stand strong for me? Now is decision time, my church. Get your garments white. Many of you are compromised. I will not accept you that way. Many, you, many of you have bought into the world's lies. It promises you much, but you will be left empty and Satan himself will laugh and mock you as he takes you to hell. Stop your fornication. This is a snare to your soul. Stop your lying and cheating. Be you holy for I am holy. Stop hurting your family members with your tongue. I see everything. Seek me while I may be found. Time is up. My warning shall soon cease. Your world will be changed, and then will you weep, my children. Then will you weep, my beloved, for the perils that have come, for the judgments that were delayed. For my righteous anger will be and must be satisfied. 
So that's the word that I received. Um, you know, like, I'm staggered at the amount of people at the moment, Christian believers, prophetic Christian believers on the internet. Well, they're not all, I don't think they're all prophets, but um, um, there are many. Um, but many people witnessing or talking on the internet um, that have had dreams and visions and words from the Lord about, you know, what is about to transpire. Um, you know, I first got a vision um, from the Lord back in 2016 um, about a huge tsunami coming and overtaking the east coast of uh, the United States of America. And it's kind of changed me completely, really, and it's caused me to really seek the Lord and about what is happening. But there's so many confirming words to the words that I'm receiving from the Holy Spirit. And it strikes me that um, before Jesus Christ came, um, apparently there was a silence for about four, something like 400, 500 years where the word, like there was no prophet speaking from the Lord, no one was hearing words from God. Well, now, if you get on the internet, there's so many people get receiving words from God. It's significant. It's highly significant. But much of the church is just keeping their eyes closed and ears, ears shut. And they're not even investigating these things. I mean, I'm investigating them like crazy because I know something's coming. I know something's up. I know this world is going to change very soon. Um, it's not going to be what it was. And... I think the calamity is far bigger than I even really imagined it to be. People may think that I'm being dramatic, but the words that I'm getting from the Lord are absolutely from him. It's not from me. It's from him. God initiates all these words that I get from him. So my brothers and sisters, um, keep watch, keep prayerful. Um, please, you can give me, please give me your comments and your testimonies. I love to read them. Um, and I hope to be on here soon with whatever the Lord delivers to me. God bless you all.